Morning, young Groms. Right now, I'm actually gonna go for my one mile run. We're parked about 0.7 miles away from the surf spot, so I'm just gonna weave through the town over here and meet the boys at the wave. All right, this is pretty epic, guys. I literally feel like I'm in the Lord of the Rings running the trail to Gondor right now or something. So cool. Waves look kind of flat. Maybe the tide's too high. Actually, this could be like a sick one right on the beach, but. Last night, we left this spot because the tide was too high. And for all these spots, we're pretty much going in blind in terms of like tide chart, because they're all different and we don't know where we can find the data for that. Um, so this morning, it's like the same as we left it. We've been here for a while just hardcore surfing and we're about to do our first tourist activity. Uh, we are here in front of this waterfall. It's like referred to as like an icicle waterfall. Dreams I had of like exploring the world when I was just like sitting in my classroom studying and now I'm doing it. So I'm just like trying to take it all in and enjoy it. Here last year, drank out of a different waterfall, but it was like the most beautiful, best tasting water ever. So we're gonna fill up right now without trying to fall through the ice. Actually a little sketchy. Right from the source. There's a little bit of ice in this somehow. That's really good. Yeah, still the best tasting water I've ever had. Mini beach break in an outer bar. Totally new spot. This is absolutely sick backdrop here. I don't know, it's like perfect offshore. I bet you that wave right there is bigger than it looks Whoa, too. Look at that thing. Yeah. It just, it needs less water too. We said 4.30 was gonna be low. And uh, that's at the other town we were, but I'm sure it's similar. Dude, look at that left. Yeah, that, but that's, no, that's ankle high offshore. No, dude, that's yes. not ankle high. Dude, it was That's awesome. not ankle high. That's like waist high. <laughs> no, it is not waist high. <laughs> Look at this beautiful black sand. Dude, what is this wedge heaven? You missed a really good one. Dude, what? Look at this wedge. Oh, what? Dude, what? All right, guys, we are fully exploring. We're fully on adventure mode here. And we think we found a really good wave. Yeah, I think we just got to get in our suits and go out. This is going to be new wave number seven or eight. So, so crazy. Let's get out there. Let's do it. We've been in like the snow the whole time. And now we're in like the black sand beach part of the island. It's just so cool. Like. I love the contrast between the yellow, like straw stuff and the black sand, really cool. We're getting into our suits right now. This wave is definitely a beach break. Looks like an opportunity for some barrels. Putting on the 6.5 because I'm cold. And yeah, I just want to get into the suit right now and warm up. It's cold, you know, we're walking around, checking waves, being outside, not a lot of time indoors. It's a hard thing. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. For some reason, it's been a battle. We're tired. It's a lot of effort getting the suits, but we're keeping the energy high. I'm stoked. Let's get out there. I think this is the day I find a barrel. And if not, at least gonna get worked. Surf a new spot. We're fired up. Let's get out there. Phew.
Woo. Go, go, go! For some reason, I had this idea that I was like Dion Angus and I was gonna freaking backdoor crazy like slab wedge wave, but it just didn't happen. I took off on one heavy one and got worked. It was frustrating. It looked so good from the beach and then the sun went away and we lost the blue color and we gained like the black color of the sand and the current just started sucking everything out and it, it was not really. I mean, some interesting things were happening. But that's Iceland for you, it's super hard. You don't always get exactly what you want and sometimes when you see it that's the best it's going to be until you get out there and then you know but we're stoked we got to sightsee today we got to surf a new wave and we're on to the next spot alex has just discovered that he's fully icelandic he's smelling horses and he's about to try dried fish protein snacks it smells like hay protein snack dried fish dried cod it's not gross wave i really wanted to surf the last time i was here i didn't get to surf it it looked almost the same as it does right now we just drove for like two hours and yeah it's just not that good i'm weirdly like feeling like this awesome sense of peace right now with the trip we've been here a long time as i'm sure you've seen like all these vlogs come out cool little waves coming in probably not gonna paddle out but yeah, I really feel this like sense of peace right now and like the sunset is so beautiful and like you can see it like behind me right now. I'm just so happy to be here and I like weirdly just got this like whole feeling of gratitude. I wasn't like super stoked on that session we had earlier. Um, we didn't exactly like score today but I just feel like super happy. Um, we're gonna cook some meat up, like a meat stew or something and like I'm just I'm just stoked that I'm here and I'm not in a cubicle somewhere studying. I'm not like in the library boxed in on one of those like study desks and spent so much time in like damp basements like studying. When I felt like I was at the peak of my life, like in my 20s, I spent so much time just like doing Anki cards and like not being outside and experiencing the world. And today I'm just like so stoked that I got to like see some waterfalls got to drive around the country, surf a totally new wave. You can see some like off the little waves right now, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked and just feeling grateful. So thank you guys for watching this series. It's been awesome. It's been so fun for me. And it's just so great rolling with the team and like us having a common goal. And thank you guys for watching. The fact that your passport has just been like free is giving me so much anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> like I see it up in the front, I'm like, what? I've had it in my backpack most of the time. Once I'm ready for the sauce, I'll switch to a pot. Alright, this is looking absolutely delicious here. Alright, Emlyn just rang the dinner bell. We're all so hungry. We're so pumped. Let's go. This brand is literally our home. All right, we're just draining the pasta right now. There's like a beautiful sunset. There's waves in the background. This is just water, people. Let's go. Some good stuff. Driving all day, so it should be topped up. Something. Did we kill that garlic cheese? We're brave men. There's a lot of black sand and urine <laughs> on that floor. <laughs> Everything drains <laughs> to the bottom of this van. And all the bad smells go up and out the vent, typically yeah. above my face at night. <laughs> Dude, it's just so funny you're up here. Like, you are a part of this bed. Like, 
my livelihood is up here. Although I haven't straightened my neck in ten days. Yeah, you can't do it in your wetsuit either. Thank you, mate. This one's mine. Yep. All right. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Ha, ha, ha.